Sir, not now. Sir. Sir. Solomon, at this time we hold 13 districts. Yes, sir. We have tight control. The population has fallen behind the new government. We brought them peace and a form of stability. We have our forces to protect them from terrorist organizations, and so far we've been successful, have we not? Yes, sir, we have. Then explain to me why, why on God's green earth have we had so much trouble with District 14? Why were just a few little wannabe operators able to take a United Nations field commander right from under our noses? You reported their retreat at the Battle of the Red River, and you reported their ceasefire agreement. You reported a surrender was in works. What the hell happened? We began negotiations with the Vanguard Mercenary Group to mediate the ceasefire. They were paid for their services. We had every reason to believe Stand they were by. on our... You're telling me that you trusted a mercenary group to mediate a surrender? Yes, sir, at Commander Taz's request. Well, isn't that beautiful? The UN is threatening to pull out and take all of their support with them. Do you have any idea what ramifications that would cause? Another destabilized global economy, the loss of new American people's trust, and most importantly, a severe lack of manpower to support the infrastructure we've worked so hard to rebuild. We have to get Taz back at any cost. We cannot lose the UN support. I understand, sir. Now get Mr. O'Neill and get your butts back here. Don't worry, Mr. Solner. Lieutenant. Lieutenant Solner. We'll get this mopped up quickly. Where is he? Who do you think you are, Whisper? <laughs> I was trying to do this the easy way. But you leave me no choice. I think you know your family's safe right now. <laughs> but you know I could be anywhere, any place, at any time. <laughs> your wife and your kids, it's only a matter of time. But instead, where's the president? Come
Who are you? I said, Who are you? A Billy Ray Cyrus mother. Okay. Okay, I'll tell you everything. Good. Where is Taz? Well, spit it out. Do you know the Muffin Man? She's married to the Muffin Man. Clean the asbestos! What does he mean? I don't know. Get a rug or something. Muffin Man? Yeah, dude, Shrek. You haven't seen the movie? Gen Z. Wolf Pack, this is Vanguard Actual. Be advised, UAV surveillance shows NUG forces in your sector. Recommend you move with caution. Vanguard Actual out. Contact! 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 Listen up! We were this close to taking District 14. If it hadn't been for those Vanguard and CRM traitors assholes, and capturing Commander Taz from us, we would have had complete control of the district. The plan is we're gonna rendezvous with Commander Pilgrim and we're gonna take the fight back to D14. Kill them all. Sir, report. Vanguard has learned our position. We need to bug out. All right, you heard him. Grab the drives, burn it all down. Let's roll. Dude, I'm telling you, man, it's been like 30 minutes since they contacted us. I think they left us, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But so what, man? We got these Anola Gay smokes. But dude, they left us, dude. They left us. Hey, we pop one of these, 30 seconds, boom. Ninja vanished. Huh. We got some grenades. Hey, we got the Anola Gay. Dude, those are awesome. Hell yeah. Love those. They're mine now. Not my Enola gaze. President Kelso, headlines from Channel 10 this morning show that in the last month of polls, districts 3, 5, 6... How is it that here at Camp McGuffin, the staff have the moral backbone of a chocolate eclair, and we don't even have one? I'm sorry, sir. Continue. These districts have shown a minimum of a 30% drop in approval, and they're estimated to continue dropping in lower income areas. Polls in the high class districts, however, namely districts one and four, have shown a minimum of a 30% drop in approval. They're estimated to continue dropping in these low income areas. Polls in the high class districts remain high, with the highest being districts one and four. The rest of the districts remain mostly neutral, though district 13 is showing signs of degradation. Spectacular. What are my options? President Kelso, I strongly recommend you start campaigning in these districts, get your approval rating up. Start kissing babies. Get out there, get your face known more than anything else.
Go ahead and set up the press conference. I'll get with my campaign advisors. We'll campaign in each individual district. Make sure cameras are there. Sir, cameras will be all over the place. While the cameras are out, I strongly recommend that you hold a press conference specifically addressing UN support on infrastructure just long enough to get our own infrastructure online. District 14 should have been a small, insignificant hiccup. And look, it has turned into this huge ordeal. I don't care if I have to go to the nuclear option and send it back to the Stone Age. By the time this is all said and done, nobody's gonna care. Nobody's gonna ask questions of how we got here. Make it happen. Yes, sir. Clear, send him in. There's nobody here. We've been sold out. What's been going on with you lately, man? You've been weird. Man, this whole thing's been weird. Like what? This whole vanguard, man. We signed up to help people without government intervention. Not to become it. We've been helping a government. That's what we're here for. We're killing civilians. That's not what I'm here for. We gotta trust the brass. They have a plan. I don't want to be a part of that kind of plan. You mother... Are you trying to tell me you're wanting to get out of this? I don't have a choice. You have a choice. You're my brother. I brought you into this. I can't let you out of this. Then you're gonna have to stop. So, uh, you're not gonna talk about last night, right? No. Okay. You ever see the movie Groundhog Day? He's fire! He's fire! Now you just die on a job. Where the hell's Taz? Let's see, I speak a lot of languages. A lot, actually. Uh, one of them being that green currency, probably in your back pocket right there. Should we uh, do a little negotiation? Cut me a deal. Well, I only need one of you. Districts 10 through 12 have collected $300,000 between them, and we are currently waiting on District 1 to send the weapons that they are promising. The president has no idea. None at all.
guest? Who makes their password guest? That's never gonna work. It's worth a shot. No way. That's just dumb. This can't be. No. 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 Brandon? Brandon Alexander Sentry? What is this doing here? No, oh, I know these guys. No. That's not right. I need to get this to the right people. Look, Stevens, I don't care what you have to do. I don't care if you have to Monica Lewinsky it. I want that interview with President Kelso. I'll call you back. Hmm. Merry Christmas, Henry. Can I call you Henry? Who are you? I'm no one important. Well, what are you doing in my house? Well, eating for one. And for two, I have something very important to give you. Mr. Steele, do you play chess? No. Well, what you don't know is you're lying. You've been playing a very dangerous game of chess, Mr. Steele. Against someone who's a five-time world champion. And what I have here may just save your life if you play your cards right. This is information that desperately needs to get out. What, what are these? What you'll find in there, photos and identities of people you may know, you may not, people that I know, and they need to be exposed. The military documents, secretarial logs, IRS documents, where did you get these? What's the catch? Catches, I need you to get those to President Kelso. Why me? I chose you, Henry Steele, because you are so far away from this, but also at the same time, so close. I know you've been looking into President Kelso. I know you know there's corruption in the NUSG. Take the next steps to hurry this process along so that other people may live. You got the biggest story that anybody could possibly have. Right in your hands is the ability to topple an entire government. Maybe more. Okay. It's a deal. Hello, Mr. Steele. Do you mind if I come in? Uh, I do, actually. You don't. What do you want? Now, now, let's not make a scene for the neighbors. Have a seat, Mr. Steele. Okay. Just calm down. Don't worry, we're gonna have a nice, polite discussion. Mind the step. You seem to be in possession of files that you should not have received yet. I gave them to you, Mr. Steele. A good journalist doesn't have any sources. Where did you get the files, Mr. Steele? Look, I don't know his name, okay? You need to hand those files over to me, Mr. Steele. The, the people deserve to know what's in these. They will know at the proper time and not a moment before. Listen to me, Mr. Steele. Your life, admittedly, is over. But the lives of many you care about are still in danger. These files in the wrong hands will undo everything that I have sought to accomplish over the last several months. And if that happens, thousands are going to die, Mr. Steele. Well, if my life's already over, what's my motivation to help you? Saving even more. All I need is the man who gave you these files and the hard drive. Look, I don't know who he is, okay? Describe him. Lower the gun, and I might cooperate. 
not really your best choice of words. I came here to negotiate, but I don't need you intact. Brown eyes, jean jacket. Focus, Mr. Steele. He, uh, he had brown hair. Uh, looked like he'd been on the road for a while. Was he thin or heavy scent? The Finnish. Caucasian? Yes. Did he give any information as to the name or where he'd be found? No, but he was rude. Hmm. I have an idea about that. Can you tell me anything else? No, I don't have any other info, okay? Give me the hard drive. It's at my office. Well, then let's go retrieve it. I'll even make sure the gun's not pointed anywhere sensitive. I appreciate that. Stand up, Mr. Steele. Slowly. And stop right there. The files have been retrieved. The hard drive is still missing. Continue the investigation. Good to you. Ooh, like shit, man. Care to bring me in, Floki? Nah, I don't work for them anymore. Well, I know you don't do anything for free. So who do you work for? The NUSG. Matt, you're clearly on the run, but what's going on? Let me help you. Old friend to another. Floki, I found something. This something is it's very sensitive. And I, I can't trust anybody with it. Can you get me somewhere? Whatever it is, I get you the right people. Are we going any further? Send your gun. Really? You trust me? Hello? Really? Belt too. Oh my god. See these triangle man with nothing but your belt and food. Alright, what do you want? Guatemala, I get it. Guatemala. I know. Good time. Fun time. Sure. What it? Mr. Black. No. Floki! Floki. Search him. And this ties up the last loose end. Kill him. Don't panic. Toronto, one week. Taking back District 14. Everything's good. We got the boys up to speed. How many of the boys made it? Just our guys. That's it? That's it. Do we have more reinforcements coming? Just the boys in green. We're ready to take back District 14. Something's going on. Someone's pulling strings. I don't know what the hell's going on. We got turned on because of freaking me being captured. We're not getting the reinforcements. Someone's pulling freaking strings and playing everyone like a freaking puppet. 
I'll be sure to let Commander Pilgrim know. Go after the supply depot. That'll draw him out. Just keep it tight. Our boys, I know we can trust because of what we've been through. That's all we can do. Let's take it to him. All right. Try and keep this brief because you have a very busy day ahead of you. Yes, Yesterday was an excellent victory for the new United States government recovering our UN operative Taz, and I'm very, very excited for how today's events are going to play out. The CRM insurrectionists have no idea what they have gotten themselves into, and we are going to take this district back in force, in full and restore it to its former glory. Now today, the new United States government's expansion mission has been wildly successful across the board. This is the last and final district in which we need to secure. And today, you are the tip of the spear, each and every one of you. You've been selected today to proceed with this mission with the utmost, highest authority the new United States government has to offer each of you. Today will be nothing but victory cigars and drinks all around. Yesterday, you guys rocked it. So, to give you a little intel of what exactly all had happened, we had eight, eight Fragos. Four of them we completed successfully. They had eight Fragos as well. Two of them, they had completed successfully. We stopped six of them. That from you guys, let's hear it. We held all four control points for three to four hours of that game. We kept them at bay. So, who owned the field? We did. we did! Who's gonna own the field today? We exactly, so let's show President Kelso and his UN team who CRM is! Woo! Let's go! Leader leads from the back. No, sir. No, sir. Not today. are serving us today and we are going to take the fight directly to their front door. They have no idea how much trouble they are in. So with that being said, get with your squad leaders and your XO if you haven't been briefed already and let's give them one hell of a fight! Thank you.
Clear. Ginger, Ginger, bow grab hit, evac immediately. Oh. It's bow grab! Give me an airstrike! Get friendly to kill us over to safety, I'll bomb up here! It's bow grab. Give me, give me an airstrike on grid square, Delta 14. Make it rain. Alcon, Alcon, be advised. New United States government has control of the AO. New United States government has control of the AO. Alcon, Alcon, be advised. New United States government has control of the AO. New United States government has control of the AO.